eternal life, salvation, is God's gift to you and to me personally. Amen. Acts eleven seventeen. For as much then as God gave them the like gift as he did unto us, who believed on the Lord Jesus Christ? What, what was I that I could withstand it? He's talking about giving them the gift. Amen. You see, it's a gift to you personally, but that means this. You also have to receive it Amen. personally. You have to take it yourself. Right. Romans 10, 9 and 10, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Notice he says thou. That means you. Amen. He's saying if you shall confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and you shall believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, then you will be saved. It's for you personally and you have to personally receive it. Amen. John 1, 12, but as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. I remember on those Christmas mornings that I woke up and I saw gifts under the tree. You know, I'd look for, I'd look for my name. I remember when it hit me. Now, I'm sorry to say this, but it's true. I, I didn't grow up in a Christian home, but uh, uh, they, my folks tried to do the Santa thing for a little bit there. And I remember, the, I remember the Christmas it hit me. I remember it distinctly. It was that foosball game Christmas I told you about just a moment ago. I remember because it was sitting there, and it wasn't that real fancy foosball, just a little one. But I remember getting up that morning. I saw my name. I said, there, that's for me. And my eyes got big. And then I said, wait a minute. That's my mother's handwriting there. <laughs> Then it hit me, wait a minute here, what's going on? I felt deceived. <laughs> but anyway, I'd look for my name. And when I saw my name, guess what I'd do? I'd pick it up. Because I knew it was for me. Amen. And then I'd open it. And it'd be mine. But you know, if I never picked it up, I'd never have the benefit of having it. If I just looked at it and didn't even, uh, even if I saw my name on it and they said, well, that's for you, and I never went over there and got it, it would never be mine. Right. I'd have to receive it. Amen. Ephesians 2 8 says, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. Amen. It is the gift of God. Notice, by grace are ye saved. You, you're saved. You see, you have to personally accept Jesus Christ as your Savior. Amen. It's the gift of God. For all of us. The question this evening is this. Will you receive it? Amen. Will you accept it? Good. Will you make it yours? Amen. You say, how do I do that? Well, recognize that you need the gift. Amen. We're all sinners Amen. destined for hell, for there is none righteous, no, not one. Amen. All of us deserve God's punishment because of our sin. But God loves you and me so much that he gave us the gift. Jesus Christ came to this earth, went to the cross of Calvary, died for our sins, was buried and rose from the dead to pay our sin debt in full. All the sins of the world were laid on the Lord Jesus Christ. That's why he came to Bethlehem. That's why he was born, so he could live a sinless life and go to the cross of Calvary. And God the Father laid your sins and mine on him, and he was paying the price that we owed for us. And if we would simply believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and receive him as our Savior, Open up the gift. Receive it for ourselves. The Bible says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord Amen. shall be saved. Amen. Would you like to receive the gift tonight? Some of you may be going home tonight. We've done this in the past. We've gone home Christmas Eve. Sorry to say it. We just didn't feel like getting up early the next morning. And we opened up our gifts that night. We'd read the Christmas story, open up our gifts. This way the kids would sleep in and not bother us all night. That's what we used to do. You know, we had, there was some wisdom behind that, I think, anyway. You're going to open up some gifts, more likely tonight or tomorrow. But do you have the gift? Amen. Jesus said to that woman, if you knew the gift, Amen. if you knew the gift of right. God and you asked for it, I'd gladly give it to you. Jesus. By the way, she did later on in that chapter. The Lord. She received the gift. She confessed that Jesus Christ is the Messiah, the one who died for her sins. Hallelujah. The question is, will you... If you haven't, do that tonight. Amen. We'll give you an opportunity to do that right now. You can receive the gift. Let's pray together.